This video is designed to explain finger pattern exercises for the cello. I want you to understand how all of the resources that we've provided will work for you and understand how finger patterns work on the cello. I originally designed this system for violin and then have modified it for viola, cello, and bass. And so this is to just really have you understand how the finger patterns work. First of all, we want the cellist to find third position. Um, in a very meaningful and solid way. So we're going to teach them to think about the interval of a fourth and here comes the bride. So we're going to find that from open to first finger in third position. And of course, always teaching them that that's where their fourth was and now that's where their first will be. So we'll start with first finger. We've found third position. Now the three, four finger pattern is going to have the half step between the third and fourth note of the exercise. We'll play the first note four times, shift up a whole step to one to fourth position, third finger and fourth finger. Then the same thing on the G, on the uh, G string. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the D string and on the A string. So that's the three four finger pattern. The two three finger pattern will have a shift from third position to fourth position and then the half step between one and two and then we go to fourth finger. So half step there. do that on each string. The one two finger pattern will have the half step between the first two notes. So here we'll play first finger, second finger, shift the whole step, and then finally the open finger pattern will have a little bit of extended position. We'll start with first finger, then a whole step, Extended position, all whole steps. I'm sure you can tell I'm not a cellist, I'm a violinist, but all of these patterns I think will work really, really well for you as you're doing the finger pattern exercises. If you follow the exercises, you'll see that each finger pattern starts with four quarter notes on each step, then we move to three quarter notes on each step, then to two, and finish up with one, which really gets you going quickly. And you'll notice that we provide a harmonic underpinning for each of the finger pattern exercises to really help the student refine their intonation. Good luck with this. I hope it's really successful for you.